giveaway time. Don't forget, we're giving away a pair of LED ox beam headlights like we installed in Boosty. The link to the video and official rules, everything you need to know is gonna be below. So check it out. Um, we're gonna call this rigging it. Rigging it, ready? So here's what we discovered. What we want to do is we want to make a spacer inside of these guys, right? This is my quick, quick change CNC. <laughs> okay, so today is a day of random projects. Look who's here. Hey, man. How you guys doing? Good. So we got new doors yesterday. Did you see that? Yes, I did. That was just yesterday. Check them out. What do you think? They look good. Pretty cool, huh? So we're doing a little, uh, I don't know, a little start from scratch, renew, clean up. And then we're just also doing, well, here we're gonna do, this is gonna be a day of uh, DIY. Do it yourself? Yeah, and and some of it might work out and some of it might not, who knows. Uh, what well, doesn't work. it ourselves, it might not work. Exactly. So whatever doesn't work out, we'll scrap, not on the cutting room floor, We'll still show you, but we will scrap the idea. First idea is going to be, um, I know, and I totally know, I already found them online, some really nice ones. Like 24 bucks, I could order some really cool ones. But I have to order them, and I want to do this right now. Like in the next hour, I want to, I want to make straps. So we're going to go to Ace Hardware because, well, that's probably the only thing available to us today, I would assume. And I'm gonna see if I can find some cable and the cable crimps and the cable crimp tool. You know, like a small I think cable. I see where you're going with this. Loop each end, put bolt instead of this cheapy, whatever kind of rivet deal this is. These Can Am ones, this one was still good. But Brandy had left her door open so many times. She broke it on purpose. That strap broke. Ironically, after we get these nicer doors, get rid of the stock doors. I'm the one that left my door open until the strap broke loose and the door got bent. And that's why we have these new uh, blank slate door skins on now. So anyway, we're gonna do that DIY. I don't have to order it and wait. This is a do right now. If we decide we don't like it, we'll rip it out and we'll order something really cool and put it in. We're great. It's, it's Sunday, we gotta do something. We'll be right back. Okay. Here we go, we're in the garage, right? We're gonna make some straps. Definitely, get on this stuff. Some limit straps, some door straps, whatever door they're called. Straps. I know we can buy some really cool ones. These won't be as cool as the cool ones you can buy, but we're doing it, I don't care. We're doing it anyway, right? You need to make sure we put them on Brandy's side, that way she doesn't mess up the door. What? Exactly. And so that's what we're gonna do right now, you ready? Here we go. Oh wait, sidetrack. Look at that. Can you see it? It's probably all bent up. That's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> it's made out of a t-shirt. So there's, there's a part of the sleeve. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be fine. It's all right. It's good. Okay, we got a bunch of parts here. What do we got, Danny? We got some stuff so we can make these doors not slam open when the wind hits them. Door limit straps. What do you got? It's not when the wind hits them, it's when someone forgets to close it. Who? Danny. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't go to Glamis, remember? I thought it happened in Glamis. Oh, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a bag of parts. We got a bag of, not parts, we got a bag of hardware. Hardware. This is a DIY kit, ready? <laughs> Here is the kit for your uh, your door not coming off, um, ripping off the hinges if you have a can on next to you. That's a kit? Yeah. You can buy it as a kit now? Yeah, if you buy it from us. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a little markup. Here we go. Here's our kit, ready? Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan, ready? They just don't make a kit like they used to. Oh. So, we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna beat the whole thing up right off the bat with some, uh, I think, quarter inch bolts. Instead of these rivets, a nice quarter inch bolt through there. And I'm kinda thinking about putting a quarter inch bolt through this. What do you think? Right here. I think so. Think so? It'll make the straps short, but uh, hopefully it works out right here. Yeah, the top, <coughs> top one or bottom one? Bottom one. 
Because the hole for the strap is lined up with the bottom one. Well, are you going to go underneath? What's that? You're going to go underneath or the side? Here, let's go take a look. What is he talking about? You're right now? I'm saying, where were you thinking of putting the bolt? So the original, uh, ooh, maybe underneath, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's go look at this one. This one has a strap on it. That might not be a bad idea. Go from here to underneath. So drill a hole up like that. That way, yeah. That would definitely be better uh, for the way it pulls on the cable than this way, because it would be pulling at a weird angle. Um, uh, short of that, we would have to go into this and we'd have to drill all the way through this round bar and through the tubing. So we didn't actually get a bolt. I mess with some of the structural density of the metal. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of drilling through that bar, that tubing. What do you think? Exactly. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to give that a shot. I think we're going to go through here, right through here. And then go to the original, the original mounting point to under here. Let's go see what kind of hardware we got for that. We have quarter inch bolts. Nylocks, washers, we have cables. Is that everything? Cable, we have cable. And then we have these ferrules and stops. You only got five of those? And we have these. These, uh, the cable wraps around these, and then we'll put the bolt through like this. And that's how it goes. Five, mm -hmm. uh, well, I thought I got six, but we only need four. Oh, okay. That's why you got six, because you knew one was going to... I got you. Yep. Yep. All right, we'll be right back. Let's put this together. Okay, what's going on over here, Danny? We are trying to get our stuff together so we can get this project done today. All right, so we got a drill bit here. We got some bolts. We're going to drill this. You want to drill it? Uh, sure, I won't be able to see it from my house. I don't know what that means. He's gonna mess up our dirt specialties doors. He's done. Ready? There we go. We're gonna drill a hole right here, just far enough over that we can get a right here, just far enough over that we can get a bolt into it. Probably would've been better if these doors were off. We might have to pull the skin off, huh? Or you could, yeah. Give it a shot. We can center punch it. Wanna go by right there? Yeah. He's a least. He's there. Right did it. That is a quarter inch bit, so we might have to run it through a little bit to be able to get that quarter inch bolt through. Let me grab the bolt and we'll take a look. Here's one of the bolts right here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's right in there. We'll be right back. Okay, we got some light on the situation now. What do we got? What's going on there? We're gonna drill out the pop pivot so we can attach the cable when we get that set up. There's other bits in there. That bit might big, not be the sharpest. I got the wrong one. There's all kinds of bits right there. Uh, those right there are the best ones I have. Those are Harbor Freight bits, and they're not good. I promise you. As a matter of fact, there's this guy I watch on YouTube. YouTube's a weird thing. That did a review on these, and they were the best ones for the money he could find. The wall? Yeah. Specifically these black ones, whatever they are. Okay. What do you think? 
I think it spins, so we need something to keep. You know it what I did last time? Just pull real tight on that strap. Pull towards you. Here, trade me for me. That's how you got it doing it. All right. Pretend like you can't. Ouch. We brute forced it. Okay, now we're gonna bring that out to quarter inch. All right? You gotta get the quarter inch fit, drill it out. You have that quarter inch? Uh, set back inside the, the wall holder. All right. We're gonna bring this out to a quarter inch. Bolts fit. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. Just gotta learn the length of the cable that we want to make. Yeah, so we gotta figure out exactly how far we want the door. That's about right there, that way it has a little bit of room to. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna say even maybe. Sponge even back a little bit. Alright. So. Let's make one end of this, maybe. Right? Yeah. So here's what we're doing. We're making up some cables. With stuff we bought at Ace Hardware. Uh, Ace is the place with the helping friendly... Friendly hardware... Wow. People? And we gotta go back to the Ace. Why? Does that really only come... Oh no. How's oh, that? Yeah. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. Okay. Yeah, we need two of these per side. So we need two of those. Two of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of these up right now. One one end. Ready? This is a little more DIY than just buying the kit that's online. The straps. But that's what we're doing today. DIY. Right? Mm-hmm. Now they did have some there that were pre-assembled. One end only. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Of these? Yeah, but it was a little bit more expensive. I think what I'm going to do is crimp that end, this end, right now, so that I can pull this through onto this without it blowing this. All right? What do you think? Sure. Let me get into my squeezy. This is my squeeze drawer. This is the squeeze drawer. This one is It's not the greatest squeeze drawer, but you can check it out. We're going to use these just because that's what I have. And we're going to clamp one side of this. We're going to clamp the side that ends, right? We're going to go a little bit through. I'm just going to bit of, just so it holds in place. Just to give us, you know, just so it holds on. Oops. Okay. Just so I can do that, right? So I can pull it tight onto this piece without the end pulling out. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Not bad. Right? Not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, we tried to buy a special tool. We tried to like, spend money we didn't even need to spend. It was Danny's idea, really. Awesome. Yeah, I just like people spend money they don't need. Okay. We're gonna pull this through until we can get this, whatever this piece is called, this piece, this piece that we're gonna use to put the bolt through. We could have just put the bolt through the cable with a big washer, would have been fine. But no, we wanted to get fancy. Look at that, that's fancy, right? Exactly. I think I'm gonna actually, let's even get more fancy. Crimp with device? Yeah, look at that, I just now thought of that. So right now what I'm gonna do, just put it in there loosely on the side that's already cramped, right? 
and I'm going to pull this tight. So I'm going to put it like that on the side that's already crimped. I'm going to pull that super tight. And with my other hand, I'm going to crimp it so it stays in place. Yeah, look at that. All right? Looks pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put a, the whole thing back in here and just give it a good squeeze. Bam. Perfect. I like it. All right, now it's gonna go do, we'll go do a test run. We have shorter bolts, longer bolts. I lost one of them already. It's over here, okay. So we have washers, let's open up the washers. It's hot in here already. Ooh, and it's only uh, mid-April. Just of not resting. You want to see the other bolt in? Yeah. But we'll clean that up. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. The tricky part is going to be getting that, um, the length right. Yes. But that does look cool. That looks good. That looks like a real piece of hardware right there. I think. I guess what we need to do is get an accurate measurement from center to center with the with this door as far out as we want it. And then after we have that, we'll use that to set the link. We just need a measuring tape. So usually have several of them up here, but Brandy's been projecting. So we'll be right back. Um, All right, so top right. Okay, we got an inches measuring device. Um, but while I was getting this, I actually had a better idea, I think. I feel like it's a better idea. We'll see what you think. We'll see what we think in a minute. What do you think, Danny? You like my better idea? I haven't told you yet. I think so. I'd say four and a half, but I have a better idea. Let's try this. Here's what I'm thinking. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think in the comments before we get to the next section to see if, uh, to see, I don't know, to tell me what you think. I'm thinking if we go like this, stick this through here and then back through here without cutting it. Right? Before we make a cut, like this. And then we bolt one side in, and then we adjust it to where we want it. Then we can make the next one off of that measurement. What do you think? Sure. We're going to find out. Okay. What size are these bolts and nuts? What you say? Seven sixteenths. They better be because that's all I have. I know we got three of them. Darren? Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, get to. <laughs> all right, seven sixteenths. We got a wrench and we got a socket. I mean a ratchet. Well, there's a socket on a ratchet. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna bolt one end. The end we finished, we're gonna bolt it in. And then we're gonna measure it out. Here we go, my favorite ratchet. Oops, I'm too tight. All right. So we're gonna line it up as straight as we can to that. All right. And then we're gonna pull this through. All 
Alright. I'm going to put all the hardware on it. Pull the door out to where we want it. Put the bolt in it and then just crimp, crimp it on the car. What do you think? Okay. So what I'm going to do is put this piece in place. See what that looks like. Yeah. So something like that. But then we're going to have to pull the door in a little bit. I'm going to give it some stretch room. What do you think? Sounds good. All right. Well, we're going to have Danny grab. You guys go with Danny to get the crimpers. These where they are. They better be right. right. I think that one's locked in place. So we'll pull this off and take a look. Yeah, pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna take it over to the bench and get it good and tight. Nice little hardware holder, built-in hardware holder. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this in here, the side that's already cramped, like last time. Pull this tight. Make sure that side's cramped. I'm gonna put it all the way in. That's a nice crimping tool. It is. Right. That's right, we'll cut it off and be done. If it's not, if it's not, we'd have to go back to the hardware store. Right? I guess I might as well cut it off because if it's, if, if it's wrong, it's wrong. Here's the next problem. Getting a good clean cut. I'm not buying anything in this shop that's sharp enough to cut. Uh, Money. I told you. I told you. All right, what we're going to do now is test this thing. What do you think, Danny? It looks like it's going to work. Yeah. So we're going to test this thing. If it works, maybe we'll try to make the other one on the bench the same length, right? Maybe. I can't get that light up. I thought this was a really good place to hold. Store the bolts and deleted them. Well, it was. You technically didn't lose them because they were kind of hard to get out of there. That's right. It's not like they were going anywhere. All right. Oh, yeah. Only problem is, somehow, I cut the cable already. See it? Yep. Those almost got tagged in the stomach. <laughs> well, it was a great idea. The execution, not so good. I cut the cable off with the saws off. Look at that. I'll go now. Other than that, and it kind of being bound up in here, let's loosen this. See. It does work, no doubt about it.
Oh. It failed. Failed. Failed miserably. Well, like I said, and the cable didn't even break, it just pulled out. Right? She hit it with a hammer next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. Inside joke. I said we were going to show what we did, whether it failed or not. And there's your answer. It was a decent idea. I feel like I had a little bit better cramp over the hill. Yeah? All right, well, we'll come back in a minute. We gotta cool off. Okay, so attempt number one didn't work out. We pulled it back off. I think we got the shot. Yeah, got the shot of it failing. So what do you think, Danny? Attempt number two. Attempt number two. All right, Danny wants to try it again. Huh? Looks, no, like, no, looks no. like we didn't get it cramped good enough. Oh no. We as in me. So we're gonna try it again, All right? Here's all the stuff we need. We're gonna do it the same way we did it last time. Only better. This should hold. Right? I mean, in theory. In theory. It should hold. So we'll do the same thing, right? We'll put that one through a little bit. Clamp, clamp it in place. And that one's still. So we clamp that one this end. That's gonna move so we can pull it tight. And we'll put it over here in the vise. We're gonna clamp it in the vise on the side we already clamped. We already crimped. Then we'll pull the cable tight like that. All right? Nice and tight. And. A little more aggressive this time but this time I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it down pretty hard what do you think I think it should be crimp it down real good okay what do you think that's a little better this time right mm-hmm okay so one end done now, technically, we should be able to get the measurement off of this, right? We might have to clean this end up. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. I am not sure how we're going to clean that end up. The cleanest. So, we'll try this. failure. How about this? How about how about this? What do you think, Danny? You can't tell me what you think after. <laughs> well, I was trying to be uh, was it biased. We return to Monday mo Monday morning quarterback. That is not working. What we need is some really, really, really sharp cable cutters. Yeah, cable cutter, snip, something like that. And I don't have any. Either that. We squeeze it really hard. Okay, so these work. Just gotta squeeze really hard. Okay, so I would assume we would want to get a really accurate measurement between these two, right? Okay, we're gonna mark it. I'm gonna go about right there. What do you think? Pretty spit. 
Enfim. Should be a weak enough current that if we need to move it, we can. Take this back through and we'll measure it on the car. Do we still have the bolt? Yeah, there's the bolts. Okay. So let's go get a measurement on the car. This is kind of just, this kind of, this is more just someday fun day goofing around or anything. If this works out, it'd be awesome. If it doesn't, let's just order the ones for $24 online, right? All right? Which one are you gonna order if it doesn't? I forgot what they're called. But they're, uh, they kind of look like, they have uh, ends on that kind of look like what comes on some of the, on some of the harnesses. And, and strapping, probably inch, inch wide strapping. And uh, they kind of look like harness material. They look pretty nice, they look pretty cool. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Watch out for that board back there. <laughs> Cameraman down. All right. So here's what it looks like. We're going we're gonna to crimp it hard this time. We're, we're going to give it another test, too. We're going to make it. If it's going to fail, we're going to make it fail. Period. All right? Well, we don't want to slam the door open like we're trying to break it, though. Um, I'm sure we do. No. We want to slam it open like it would get slammed open if you leave it open. Otherwise, it's not a good test. Come on, Danny. Where's your sense of adventure? Did you leave it at the door? Door of McDonald's. All right. So good and tight right there. Clamp it down. Just enough to hold it in place. We're gonna put it in here. This time we're gonna give it a serious, serious, serious smashing. A serious smashing. Oops, we moved the device. I think that's. I think it's good. We're also not gonna th cut through the other cable this time. We're gonna do this. Ready? Yeah, that went easy to that one. Yeah. Well, I squeezed harder from the get-go knowing that... What you had to do? We had to get-go. We had to get-go. That's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool for just goofing around. Goofing around. Someday, someday. Here we go. Test number two. You ready? Okay. Here's what it looks like all mounted up. Ready? It does stop at about where it needs to stop. Oh, wow. I feel like I can see stuff flexing. It might be pretty good this time. Uh-oh. Get it. Let's get close up. When it breaks, we want to see it. It seems like it let go. Go or just say? I don't know, that seems pretty strong, huh? I mean, it's flexing this whole frame. Right? I mean, because if the wind catches it, this thing flings back hard. It will bend the crap out of this. Yeah, you're pretty close to bending it right now. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been a little bit shorter, but it does seem to work. We're gonna call this rigging it, rigging it, ready? So here's what we discovered. What we wanna do is we want to make a spacer inside of these guys, right? That we can lock this bolt down onto and this will still spin on it, right? Right. This wasn't big enough, that eyelet, so I opened it up a little bit with some uh, precision tooling. We'll go over that in a minute. Minute. Now what we need to do is drill this hole out to quarter inch for the bolt to fit through. So we're going to use some more of our precision machinery. 
we have laying around the shop here uh, to make that happen. And we're gonna uh, spin it on the lathe and put a drill bit through it. Let's step our way up. So much better. Came loose. Look at that. Chips. Chips from the lathe. Right? Turn it for scrap later. Hmm? Turn it in for scrap later. Yeah. Here we go. Next size. Here we go. This is the real. This is for all the money right here. Whoa. Damn it. The lathe keeps. Trying to keep this as precision as possible. This is some really high end equipment. What? Wow. Here we go. The moment of truth. Will it work? Look at that. Who says? Who says? Danny's Danny's being all hesitant and shy right now. This was actually his idea. I'm just saying. Okay. Maybe the execution of it wasn't exactly as he planned. But the idea itself to drop everything <laughs> was definitely his idea. We're gonna show you this. We have some special machinery we used to make this whole thing happen early. We're gonna show you what that looked like right now. It's kind of like this. Yeah. Precision. Oh. Look at that. I should. Oh. I didn't machine it out quite enough. <laughs> Back on that. Don't let, don't let Travis watch this, he'll be jealous. <laughs> All right? Tell the, well, with all the machining that you're doing? Yeah. He'll be like, well, he I've never, I know, that's what I'm saying. He's like, man, I've never seen those techniques. Where did you, where did you, where did you get schooled? Is that, isn't that what he would say? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah? <laughs> Be like, I never went to that redneck engineering class. This is my quick, quick change CNC. <laughs> that went a lot better than the last one. Oh, practice just makes <laughs> practice just makes perfect. Look at that. I'm telling you, man. Freaking awesome. Here's what it is. Here we go. It looks like that, right? We just came up with this. Good idea. Glad you had it. Just we just right now came up with this. Mostly Danny's idea. Whole thing, I'm gonna say. Beginning to end. In case it doesn't work. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Here's what's going on. I noticed when we open and close this, this metal is dragging along here, kind of scarring this up. So, I found some heat treat to me. Oh, look at that. Truly amazing. Tuda. Now, what we need would be something that we can heat it with. In here. Look at this. Oh. Look at that. Voila. I don't even need to bust out like a ladder or anything. Uh oh.
small as that would help. But we're gonna call it good. It's pretty warm. That's warm. <laughs> this thing actually works pretty good. This thing right here. Ready? Look, we covered it with a little heat shrink so it doesn't scar up the car. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it took way too long. We spent probably a thousand dollars worth of our time. Yeah. You can buy them for twenty-four dollars online that are better. <laughs> but well, it was a, on but it was a project. So we're gonna clean out the car of all the tools and hardware. We're gonna give Danny back his tray. We're gonna call it good, right? Are we calling it good? I think we're calling it good. Okay, we're gonna call this good. What do you think? What are your real thoughts? I think it came out good, actually. Okay. He thinks it came out good. I think it came out all right. I think it actually does the job. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. And then we'll buy some that are better. Okay, so we're finished up out here in the garage. Kind of cleaning some stuff up. Uh, we got a little mess. A little mess on the bench. But we'll get that taken care of. Doors. So, the other day, the other day, probably the last video we put up, I would assume, uh, we swapped out the doors. We, or swapped out the door skins. We had already swapped out the doors some time ago for these door, door, dirt specialties doors. And like I mentioned in the last video, they are rock solid. The frames are solid. Um, can't say anything bad about them at all. Uh, but the only thing, the only problem we had was a problem I caused myself because we didn't have any straps on them to limit, limit them opening. Uh, I didn't put the factory straps back on them uh, for, for what reason. Um, but... Here's what happened. See this? See this one right here? See that guy? What happened is I left mine partially open. I don't know, three different times. Took off, door flung open, bent the door. Bent the door skin, right? But the doors are solid because even though I, I probably did it more like five times, didn't hurt the frame at all, didn't bend the frame, didn't cause any issues with the door opening or closing whatsoever. Uh, just spent the door skin up, right? So, uh, as you saw in this video today, I'm gonna call this a limited, a limited success. I mean, it's, you know, technically, I guess it works. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Maybe the execution, maybe the, I don't know. I guess it works. But again, not 100%. 100% happy with it when you can go online for like 24 bucks and order a set of these really nice straps At least online they look really nice. So anyway, I'm gonna call it good uh, Like Brandy always says Don't forget to subscribe Like please comment. We like the comments. Tell us, you know, tell us your experience with these You know, I'm not making any big claims here. I don't think I did something uh, groundbreaking not even that happy with how it came out, but uh, comment about your success or failures with your projects or your limit shops. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment, those things. And don't forget, like Brandy told you in the beginning of the video, check out the contest. Peace.